Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. On this channel, you'll find financial, travel, and more videos just like the one you're watching right now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Hello everyone. Lately, I've been receiving lots of scam calls from Canada Revenue Agency. Canada Revenue Agencies like IRS in the US, they deal with uh, tax matters for Canadians. And scammers are con artists. Uh, they are active to take out people's money by scamming them, uh, calling them and mentioning that they're calling from Revenue Canada. And there's active lawsuit uh, going on and they will be arrested or they will be in a lot of trouble. So I've been uh, receiving these calls and today I got I got one voice message. Uh, usually they leave voice message because I don't pick up uh, phone calls for which I do not recognize the numbers. So I had a, I had this voice message uh, on my telephone and I listened to it and I called the scammer back and this is what I'm going to uh, show you today. So I'll just play the a call I recorded with this camera and you will see that you know what they have to say so this is cameras looks like a little bit more a little bit intelligent because he didn't ask for money right away he asked me uh, to contact my lawyer to give him a call back so I gave him uh, my name my uh, address and stuff everything but all those were fake fake so this is not uh, real information I gave him and he was asking uh, and he mentioned that you know I'll be arrested and police will be showing up at my address within like two hours or something so everything is in the recording so I'll show it to you enjoy and if you like what you see please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and there will be more videos thank you okay so here is the voice message the scammer left for me claiming to be calling from Canada Revenue Agency and uh, you can see his number on top which is 581-200-0023 the reason I put my pen there because I'm just blocking my own phone number and then I'll play you the message so you can hear what he has to say hey the call is from the Canada Revenue Agency the issue at hand is very time sensitive very second, you receive this message. I want you or your lawyer to call me on 581-200-0023. I repeat, the number is 581-200-0023. If you avoid this message, legal situation unfolds on you. All I can do is wish you a good luck. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Okay, so that's the end of it. So after listening to this message, I decided to give him a call and that's what you will hear right now. Well, I'd like to show you something else. Uh, the phone call came from 581. I'm sure this is a like, you know, uh, fake number or even if it, uh, you know, if, if, if this number works, this is just under a fake name or not a real, uh, really listed number. So he claimed to be calling from Ottawa but if you uh, take a look at the 58 area code, this is actually from Quebec. He's claiming this to be this number to be from Ottawa. So that's a, that's a mistake he's making, scamming people. Okay, so we'll go to the recording uh, right now. Thank you. Thank you for calling the Canada Revenue Agency. How can I help you? Yes, I had a call from someone. I'm just wondering if you guys are still open. So what was the call all about? Oh, it just has to call you back, that's all. Do you have a case number with you? Uh, no, I don't know that. There's no case number. Not a problem, sir. Can I have your first and your last name so that I can pull up your case file by your name? See, sure. First name, Jerry? Yep. And last name Bondon. How do we spell out your last name? Uh, B O N D O N. Yep. Okay, Mr. Bondon, could you also verify me your mailing address for the security purpose? Okay, mailing address is 
1700 yep. York Street Toronto okay. Ontario M5V uh -huh. 3A2 N5 No M5V 3A2 3A file for number 2 Correct Wait. Okay, Mr. Bondon, could you just hold the line for a minute while I pull up your case file and verify the information? Sure. Thank you. Thank you for being on hold. Yeah, no problem. Oh, yeah, Mr. Bondon, uh, so I have pulled up your case file and I can see that the reason we were trying to contact you is to inform you that there is a lawsuit filed against you by the Canada Revenue Agency and that there is a non available arrest warrant issued against your name. So oh. were you not aware about that? No, I, no one told me anything. Okay. Since you have stated on this recorded line that you were not aware about the situation, what I can do is I can read out the copy of your affidavit which is lying on my desk okay. so that you understand the situation very clearly. And while I do that, could you just quickly grab a pen and paper and make a note of your case number? Okay, sure. Yeah, your case number is TDS, that is T as in Tango, D as in David, S as in Sam with the number 561638. 561638. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Now, while I start reading the affidavit for you, I would request you to please do not interrupt me while I'm speaking, as I will be giving you a fair chance to speak once I'm done helping you with this information. Oh, okay. I'm also bound to inform you that this line is federally recorded by the CRA headquarters, the Attorney General, as well as by the RCMP department. Oh, so whatever okay. statement you use on this recorded line will be used as an evidence in the courthouse, either in favor of you or against you. Okay, where you guys now, are located? In the, uh, I beg your pardon? Where are you located? We are located in Ottawa. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, so it states in the affidavit that when we conducted a confidential audit on your taxes file for the taxes that you have filed for the past five years, which is from 2011 to 2016, we found out that your taxes were not filed correctly. There were lots of miscalculation in the tax amount, for which we also discovered a strong evidence that this was not a result of an innocent negligence. Rather, it was a willful act done with an intent to defraud the DRA. And that's the reason why there are four serious criminal allegations which have been pressed against you inside the courthouse, which are Count 1, violation of federal tax regulation. Count 2, violation of Canada Revenue Code. Count 3, theft by deception. And Count 4, Willful misrepresentation of information to the government organization. Now, once you have been proven guilty inside the courthouse with this four criminal allegations against your name, the total fine will go up to $90,000 and an imprisonment up to three years. The total amount that is outstanding on your name or you owe towards the Canada Revenue Agency is $6,827 with 69 cents, which includes your pending taxes, legal charges, and late fees. And at this point of time, the federal government has decided to forcefully recollect this amount from you by involving the Canada Revenue Code 6331-H against you, which means that CRA will mark a lien on all your assets, including your house, your car and also your bank accounts will be frozen and confiscated. We will also mark a lien. A federal tax lien will mark on all your benefits and wages informing your employer 
and the government body that you are affiliated with. And in case if you have any existing payment plan with the CRA, then it will be terminated under the section 30-AF-CR code. Once all these documents have been signed by our lawyer, Mr. James O'Connor, all these documents will be sent out to your county courthouse as well as to the local RCMP department. So, within the next couple of hours, there will be officers from the revenue department and officers from the RCMP department at your doorstep to get you arrested. The first thing they will do is they will serve you with your civil along with the Dina and a copy of your arrest warrant towards you. And after that, you will be taken under the federal custody. And once you are under detention, you will be presented inside the court, depending on the availability of the court within the next two to three working days. So if you have any questions for me, Mr. Morgan, or anything to say in your favor on this recorded line, you can let me know. Okay, so I should call my lawyer now? Yeah, if you have a lawyer, you can get in touch with your lawyer. And if, if not, if you don't want to get in touch with your lawyer on your own, you can help him with his details so that we can contact your lawyer and discuss the legal case that has been registered against you. Okay. Okay, so what I what can I do? I beg your pardon? So what, what I should do? Oh no, I don't. I haven't talked to him for a while, so I have to find the number first. Is there is there any way you can you can look after this? No, sir. Because we haven't called you to collect money from you. The only purpose of the call towards you is to obtain your lawyer's information so that we can contact your lawyer and this is the legal case that has been registered against you. Oh, okay. So I should just call my lawyer to give you a call, right? Okay, so what's your name? My name is Jay Mueller and my batch ID number is C1087. I'm sorry, what is the number? The batch ID number is C, C for Charlie, with the number 1087. Oh, okay, and the phone number? You can call me on the same number, this is my direct number. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'll just uh, ask my lawyer to give you a call. Sure. Uh, how long you're open? Thanks. I beg your pardon? How long you're open? What time you close? So, our working hours are about to done. As you, as you, so, I'm just trying to call us. That's the reason why we came back and we attended the call. So, we are about to leave it in the next 5 to 10 minutes. Oh, okay. So, just call within 5 to 10 minutes. Okay, so I'll get the lawyer to give you a call. Thanks for your time. Have a nice day. Okay. All right. Bye.